Hi, it's Tom from Vermont, manufacturers of the world's leading wine and champagne preservation systems. In this short video, I'm going to give you an introduction, a reintroduction or a refresher in terms of your wine and champagne preservation system, hopefully one of the models behind me, a few top tips for making the most of your system, some do's and don'ts, and equipping you with everything you need to get the very most from your wine by the glass service. Before we go any further, why wine preservation? Well, our business has been around now for nearly 30 years. Back in the 90s, the need for wine preservation probably wasn't quite what it is today. The average offer was limited with maybe one or two red and white wines available by the glass, very few champagnes or sparkling wines available by the glass. But over the years, wine lists have evolved, so have consumers' preferences, and the availability and desire for an extended range of wines and champagnes by the glass means that most restaurants, bars, hotels and the like need to serve an extended selection in order to satisfy their customers. That comes with its challenges, as we all know. If we take a bottle of still wine, open it up, we've essentially sliced open the apple. Now, once we've sliced that apple open, very quickly, the process of oxidation, which is the same process that turns a freshly cut apple brown over a period of time, will take place with the wine that's been exposed to the oxygen and exposed to the atmosphere. So over time, that wine will continue to evolve in the short term, quite often wine will improve as it's opened and it interacts with oxygen. The reason that we decant some wines or that we give time wines in a glass before we can enjoy them at their very best. But ultimately, it always ends up at a point where wine is spoiled and it begins to take on vinegar-like qualities, not something we want to be offering to our guests. So that's the reason that wine preservation exists, is so that we can offer a premium selection of wines with, without the concern of wine spoiling, going bad, and us pouring our profits down the sink, or even worse, pouring a substandard glass of wine for one of our customers. The same process occurs within any bottle of sparkling wine or champagne. So again, once we open that bottle of sparkling wine or champagne and pour our guests the first glass, it's just like the apple. We slice it open, that wine will begin to brown in effect and it will begin to oxidize. More noticeably, and, and one of the most common complaints in, in hospitality in the UK, obviously, is that that wine will also begin to go flat. And that's because the CO2 that's absorbed within the liquid as part of the secondary fermentation in making a sparkling wine or champagne begins to escape from the bottle. I always say to people, if that, that CO2 gas escaping was pink and we could see it, we'd be far quicker to stick our hand over the top and stop, stop it escaping. So with champagne and sparkling wines, we've got two things to consider. One, the wine will oxidize in just the same way that the still wine will, but two, it will more noticeably go flat very quickly. That's where the Mars patented e-preserve technology comes in by allowing you to halt the oxidation, effectively to reseal that apple and to stop it browning over time. Now I'm gonna give you a quick recap in terms of how our systems work. It's important to remember, behind me, I've our full range of standalone Levertivan Plus systems and combining refrigeration with preservation, our Pop Bar Plus range. But all of them have the same patented e-preserve technology at their heart. That's a technology that we invented and developed to preserve still and sparkling wines in the most efficient way that we possibly can. So we take our bottle of still wine, we open it up, pour a glass. Once we've done so, we pop one of the Vermar e-stoppers into the top of the bottle and we come to the still wine side of the system. We push the bottle up, the system will go orange while it's working, and green once it's done. Now, once it goes green, we can't continue to reseal the bottle. The system's cleverly detected that we've reached the right level of vacuum inside the open bottle to perfectly preserve the contents. That vacuum we've created removes oxygen away from the surface of the wine, and it prevents the apple from browning, prevents the wine from oxidizing, extending the useful life of this bottle of wine for a matter of hours to up to 21 days from first opening. 
The same ePreserve technology has a completely separate application for preserving sparkling wines and champagnes. So in the same way, we open up our bottle, pour our customer a glass, we pop one of Bamar's champagne stoppers in the top of the bottle and a clip around the neck. We come to the sparkling wine side of the system and repeat the process. Pushing the bottle up, the system will go orange while it's working, green as soon as it's complete. Again, no need to worry about oversealing the bottle, about introducing too much gas into the bottle or anything like that, because the system will recognize quickly and will automatically shut off once we've hit the correct level. As I mentioned, what we've done there is to introduce a measure of CO2 gas back into the open bottle. That CO2 acts in two ways. It first of all prevents oxygen from mixing with the liquid at the surface of, of, the, of the wine, which stops the oxidation, but it also creates a lock, meaning that no CO2 is able to escape from the liquid. And next time we serve a glass, it's like opening it up for the first time. So hopefully you're all familiar with, with using the system. Now I want to move on to a few quick do's and don'ts, just in making sure that you get the most from using your system day to day. One of the questions we're most commonly asked is, when should I reseal an open bottle of wine? Well, in an ideal scenario, in an ideal world, you'd reseal each bottle after every time you serve a glass of wine. The reason for that is that oxidation occurs the moment that the bottle of wine is open. So it's again, going back to that apple analogy, the minute you slice that apple in half, oxygen has begun interfering and mixing with the surface of the wine and it will fundamentally change the flavor of that wine if you don't do something quickly. Now we recognize that that's not always possible, especially not the busy Friday night, the middle of service with one of your house wines that you're pouring, you know, maybe five, six glasses an hour of. And for that reason, we have a couple of ways that you can introduce a resealing policy into your business to make sure that your service isn't compromised, but that the quality of every glass is as you would expect it to be and as your customers would hope it to be. So you might have seen already, but the Bamar e-stoppers come in two colors. When you buy a new system from us, you get 10 in gold and 10 in silver. The reason for having the stoppers in different colors is to allow you to pick and choose. Some customers might use gold stoppers for red wines, silver stoppers for white wines. More commonly though, and an easy practice that I'd recommend you introduce to your service, is that you'll have your fast movers and your maybe slower moving, more premium wines that you're selling by the glass. So for your fast movers, albeit this probably isn't a fast moving entry level wine, um, you might use the silver e-stopper. Now with the fast moving wines, over the course of a busy evening, you'll be pouring many glasses. You might even have the bottles on the side or in a, a kind of you know, um, drop in chiller so that you've got easy access to those, those bottles throughout the evening. The likelihood is that you're gonna get through multiple bottles of wine. You're not gonna be too worried about oxidation because in all honesty, you're probably going to pour through it quick enough. However, at the end of service, whether that be at the end of lunch service, the end of dinner service, you know, before any period of closure, what we would suggest is that you make sure that each of those fast moving wines has a stopper in the top and is resealed. The reason for that is that between services, you're looking at up to 12, 24 hours in some instances before the next glass is served. Now in 12 to 24 hours, some fundamental changes will have taken place inside the bottle and this wine may even have changed unrecognizably in that period. For those more premium wines on your offer, um, you know, typically a lot of operators we work with will set a price point for this. They'll look to introduce a reseal after each glass service. And that's because you maybe don't have visibility over when you're gonna pour the next glass. It could be a few minutes, but it could also be a few hours or even the following day. So in that scenario, pour the glass, 
pop the stopper in the top of the bottle, and somewhere between one and five seconds later, you've got a perfect seal, meaning that wine will stay in great condition for up to three weeks. When it comes to sparkling wines, champagnes, even Prosecco by the glass, my recommendation is that you reseal after each time a glass is poured. Why? Two reasons. One, the escape of CO2 from inside the liquid is rapid and wines will go flat very quickly. Number two, perhaps equally as important, is that little bit of theatre each time that a glass is served. You know, that sound is, is unmistakable. It drives other guests perhaps to want to order a glass of something sparkling. And it's also a quality cue for a guest. They know that glass is in perfect condition. Again, somewhere between one and five seconds. And you've got a perfectly resealed bottle. Depending on the amount of sparkling wine or champagne that you serve, and also the size of CO2 cylinder that you've got your system connected to, you may intermittently find that you need to replace your CO2 supply. One of the first telltale signs that you need to do this will be that when you come to preserve sparkling wines, there's no gas coming out of the nozzle or the light won't turn green when you complete the, the preservation cycle. So quick walkthrough on how to change the CO2 supply is incredibly straightforward. First things first is make sure that the black tap on your regulator is switched to the off position as you can see here. So the tap is vertical. Next, on the push fit connector, which connects your CO2 pipe to the regulator, simply push in and pull the black CO2 pipe away. You're now left with your CO2 cylinder and your regulator. Regulator in the off position. Simply unscrew the regulator. You may hear a hissing of gas as you remove the connection. Now discard or dispose of your empty CO2 cylinder. Take your new cylinder and repeat the process in reverse. So connect your new CO2 cylinder to the regulator. You need to make sure there's a good tight fit. This is brass to brass so you can give it an extra squeeze and make sure there's a connection of CO2 into the regulator. If you have one of the dial regulators from us, you'll see at this point that the needle on the dial will swing back up into an upright position, telling you that the regulator is now repressurized. Once we've done this, take our black CO2 pipe and simply reconnect. This is a push fit connector. And what it means is that you can take the black CO2 pipe, push it in until you feel a click, and at that point, try and pull it out and you'll feel that you're not able to. Now, turn the black tap on your regulator across into the on position and you're ready to go. If you wanna make sure that you've done all of that just right, then a gentle upward press on the sparkling wine nozzle and you should hear or be able to feel CO2 gas coming out. All Bamar wine and champagne preservation systems are built to last. We manufacture our systems here in the UK. And as I said before, we have them for 30 years. We take great pride in the longevity of our machines. That said, there's a few simple things that you can do to make sure you're getting the very most from your Laverda van or pod bar over the longer period. First of all, make sure you've got an accessories range that you need and that's commensurate to the amount of wine by the glass that you're serving in your business. You can head on to bamar.co.uk and check out our accessories range. We have stoppers for all still wines, so the East Stopper will work with any bottle configuration from half bottle all the way through to Jeroboam. Um, our champagne stoppers are available in the standard black finish, as you can see here, but also in a premium chrome finish. And we have narrow fitting champagne stoppers for those bottles like Krug, Dom Perignon and others, which have the narrower neck available. We also have a stopper that fits with Laurent Perrier Rosé, which has a kind of iconic, unique bottle shape too. In terms of the system itself, really, it will tell you if it needs any TLC. First of all, on the sparkling wine side, if you run out of CO2 gas, you won't get a green light when you try and reseal a bottle of sparkling wine or champagne. So if you get a light that stays orange and won't go green, the first thing to check is that you haven't run out of gas. Secondly, the accessories themselves, the stoppers, they might need occasionally washing just in warm, soapy water. Don't put them in a the dishwasher. Um, that will ensure their continued use over the longer term. And when it comes to the systems themselves, they really benefit from preventative maintenance. What I mean by pre preventative maintenance is that by ensuring that they're kept in peak working order 
and that all parts are regularly serviced and recalibrated in line with national standards, we can make sure that your system goes on preserving your wines and champagnes perfectly for many years. We've reports of some customers who've had systems regularly serviced in their business for over 20 years. So when it comes to getting a return on investment from these machines, you really can be sure that you're in safe hands. If ever you've got a question, contact our customer service team. It's 01473 612 062 or customer service at Bermar, B-E-R-M-A-R.co.uk. You can find all of this information and more by heading online to bermar.co.uk. And please do share with us your stories and some of the things that you're doing with Wine Butter Glass in your business across our social channels or by getting in touch directly with the team. We love to learn how you're delighting your customers and how our systems are supporting your service.